So in this example, we want to find the volume of a tetrahedron using a transformation. Okay, so let S be the transformation R3 with vertices at the vectors 0, E1, E2, and E3. And let S prime be the uh, tetrahedron after the transformation where the vertices are at vectors 0, V1, V2, and V3. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to find uh, a formula for the volume of the tetrahedron at S prime. Okay, so we can do that um, right by knowing the volume of S and then finding the determinant of the matrix that does this transformation. Then we were able to find, we were able to accomplish this. Okay, so let me first write down the uh, formula for doing this. So the volume, okay. So we want to find the volume of S prime. So the volume of S prime is equal to the volume of S okay, times the determinant of the matrix that's doing this transformation. So let's call that matrix A. Okay. All right. So again, so we have we have our tetrahedral S here, and then S prime is what it looks like after the transformation. So in other words, so we have this. Okay. So let's first define what A has to be. Okay. Okay, so if you recall, okay, the, if we know the transformation of the basis vectors, those will be the columns of or for the matrix A that does the transformation. Okay, so let so first let's define our transformation. It's going to be from R three to R three. Okay, so we have. Right, so we have E1, E2, and E3. Those are your basis vectors in R3. Okay. So let T be R3 to R3 be a linear transformation. Okay. So okay. And okay. So let the transformation of E1 go to V1, okay, and the transformation of E2 go to V2, and the transformation of E3 goes to V3, okay. So now from these, okay, from V1, V2, and V3, these are going to form the columns of A, of our matrix A, okay. So A, so let's write that over here. So for the column, so for A, it's going to look like this. So it's, remember, it's the, it composes of the transformation of E1, E2, and E3. Okay, and that's, and based on what we're assuming here, we're assuming that the transformation E1 goes to V1. And transformation of E2 goes to V2, and the transformation of E3 goes to three, V3. Okay. So there's our matrix A. Okay. Now we have to find the volume of S. Okay. So the S is a tetrahedral. Okay. So finding the volume of this. So the volume of a tetrahedral. Okay. So let's do that over here. Okay, so the volume of S is going to be equal to, by definition, that is one third times the area of the base of that tetrahedral times the height. Okay, so the area of the base of this tetrahedral is actually a triangle here. 
so we have e1 okay so so e1 is this is linked one from 0 to e1 from 0 to e2 it's linked to one and then from 0 to e3 it's also one so this is so this base right is a triangle okay all right so area of triangle so the area of the triangle okay that is one half the base times the height okay so let's do that here actually let's just go ahead and write it in there so this is going to be okay so the volume of s just for s okay it's one third times okay the area of the triangle is going to be one half okay times the base of that triangle so the base of the triangle is the length of e1 which is just one okay and then the the height okay all right the height of that triangle is e2 okay which is one okay again that is just right just recall the area of the triangle is one half the base times the height okay all right so that is okay so that will give us the the uh, that will give us the area of the base so now we can we, now we have volume okay so the volume of s is equal to one third times one half times the height the height of the tetrahedron is e3 okay so that's the length of e3 so it's going to put this that means the magnitude of e3 which is linked one so that's going to give us Okay, so we have one half, so we have one third times one half times one. And don't forget the other, this is the height of the tetrahedral, which is one. So this is going to give us one six. Okay, so that is the volume of, of S. Okay, so now we take this and multiply it by the height, I'm sorry, by the determinant of E, and that will give us the volume of S prime. So the volume of S prime is going to be one six times the determinant of our transformation matrix, where A, right, where A is defined as, right, these are going to be so A is going to be composed of the vectors v one, v two, and v three. So those are going to be our column vectors of A. And again, those column vectors are coming from the transformations of, of E1, E2, and E3. Okay, so that is the general formula uh, to find the uh, transformation of this of this tetrahedral of, of S.